I support H.J. Res 88, which will nullify President Biden's latest efforts to unlawfully and immorally push the cost of higher education onto the taxpayer. The Biden administration's SAVE plan requires borrowers to pay back loans on an even lower percentage of their income with the promise that forgiveness, or actually transfer to the taxpayer, will come in the future. It's estimated only 22% of students who borrowed money from taxpayers to go to college will ever fully pay it back. Back in June, President Biden ignored the first warning from Congress that his efforts to forgive, we shouldn't use that term, transfer to the taxpayer loans are both unconstitutional and morally wrong. The House and the Senate passed my resolution to nullify Biden's $315 billion, conservatively speaking, student loan transfer scheme. President Biden ignored the will of Congress, however, and vetoed it. But the Supreme Court overturned his plan appropriately within the same month. But once again, this Congress is giving President Biden a chance to reevaluate his misguided priorities when it comes to reforming the high, high cost of higher education. The new repayment plan is slated to become the most expensive regulation in history. A charitable estimate suggests it'll cost taxpayers a mere $276 billion, which, by the way, is about $1,000 per American citizen. Other budget models place the cost somewhere between $475 and $559 billion. I know the way we spend trillions around here, billions don't seem like a lot, but this plan will incentivize more borrowing. It's worth noting that more borrowing does not bring down college costs. In fact, for every $1 increase in student loan subsidies, colleges increase their tuition by 60 cents. So Congress must reclaim its power and act today to stop the unilateral actions of President Biden that are worsening the higher education financial crisis and pushing our country deeper into debt. I urge my colleagues on both sides to, to vote in favor of this resolution. Now yield back.